Hello guys, welcome back to Epitaga's Dumb Box and this is Akshadaga. In this video, we will talk about vectorized operations in R programming. So, till now we have already seen different data types like list, vectors and matrices and everything. Now, what is vectorized implementation, implementation like vectorized operation? If you are familiar with some programming language like C, Java or uh, uh, let's say even MATLAB or uh, any other normal language, then you must be familiar with some loop or loop operations like while, for. In that what we do, if we, we want to perform a particular particular kind of operation on all the element of array or list or vector or matrix or anything, then we create a for loop or maybe nested for loops sometime and then we perform particular operation on each element recursively, right? So basically it is not optimized one and it is time consuming, okay? So the the key feature like because of op vector operation what happens uh, you can avoid all kind of loops using like for or while and then whatever operation you, you perform that operation gets directly performed on a complete vector okay Co complete ve and uh, uh, that's why uh, like the operations which is getting performed on that vector it is optimized because it is parallel it is happening like it is happening at the same time on all all the elements of the vector now let's begin and see how to do that okay so right now we have two vectors that is first one is x and second one is y i'll print the value of x and y see there are two uh, vectors now if i want to perform addition like so first like in other language like c what we can do we can create a for loop right where i will iterate for for from first element to fourth element and for first element we will make addition of first element of x and y then for second and third so we can avoid all that if we write here x plus y whatever output i am getting it is element wise addition right element wise of 1 plus 6 is 7 2 plus 7 is 9 like that similarly you can perform operations like subtraction right then uh, multiplication so it is a element wise multiplication then division and so on like that so this is the vectorized uh, implementation right apart from that there are some more operation like x is greater than y it will give me a output in terms of true or false if i write it like this then i'll get true okay if i i can check like like if I want to check whether I want to print all the elements which are greater than 2 in x then I will get output as like 2 or false because in x only uh, these two elements like only first element is smaller than 2 all three are equal or greater than 2. So like that we can whatever operations I have shown you, you right now it is vectorized implementation those who know MATLAB they are very familiar with this this is not new concept for them because in MATLAB also we do all the operations just like that now let's see how to apply vectorized operation on matrix right so I am creating one matrix that is x then I am creating another matrix y both the matrix are 2 by 2 I am printing x I am printing y c now just like vectors I can do the same operation on matrix as well if I am doing, doing x plus y it is element wise addition first element is getting added with the same the first element of that if I am doing subtraction same now that the tricky part is if I am doing multiplication over here many of you might think it is a matrix multiplication but it is not it is just element wise multiplication first element of x is getting multiplied by first element of y and so on just like that and same goes with the division it is element wise division okay then the next question is what if you want to perform matrix multiplication which we call true matrix multiplication then the syntax is little bit different instead of just putting star there you have to put it like that percent star percent and then now whatever you got it is a two matrix multiplication it is not element wise matrix element it is not element wise multiplication so that's it guys 
like uh, if you want to perform some more operation you can get index easily you can search for the syntax for that i have covered almost all the syntax uh, like commonly used use syntax so that's it guys till now we have covered many more basic topics about r programming and i'll be posting some more advanced like the next topics i'll be covering in my future videos if you have any kind of doubt regarding this topic please put it in the comment box if you like the explanation and every, you can click the like button if you want some want to see some more videos from me on a particular topic in r programming please put it in the comment box and if you want to encourage me and if you want to keep watching videos like this please do subscribe to my channel that will be a great help for me thank you very much guys and whatever i have explained over here all the all the syntax all the codes and everything will be available for you in the written format and link to that will be given in the description please do check it out my blog there you will get each and everything in in detail step wise so that's it guys this is akshay daga signing off thank you very much